and good evening. Jack Oldham, the only thing that you should be worried about is your, your bloody haircut. You've got, the, you've got the worst haircut in Abu Dhabi. But welcome to uh, today is Tuesday. Welcome to Tuesday's WAD here at Yas Marina, box two. Tasty Tuesday, tasty Tuesday. But yes, Jack Oldham, my, my, my mustache is still here. It's still very strong. And um, apparently it makes me look like a 1950s British gentleman. Shosha, good morning. Dua, Dua put in a hell of a performance last night. Oof, a hell of a performance, inspiring Dua. You're inspiring me to work out tonight. I'm, I will be in the studio for about two minutes and then I'll be handing over to hand out Hegarty and I personally will be performing for you all this evening. I will be participating against the one and only Mo Money Monks and we will be coached by the wife of Jamie, no, of Elliot Simmons, Miss Jamie Simmons. So in five minutes, we will be going live. I will be leaving you right now. I'll be handing you over to, uh, speaking of handing, hand out Hegarty and uh, enjoy your evenings and I'll, uh, I'll put in a hell of a performance for you all. Thank you from Billy the Gench Graham. So uh, he has been re referring to myself as hand out Hegarty, referring to the uh, the aid that Australia received during the horrible bushfires. The Australian nation was very grateful for all the international support. And also, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure Billy the Gench Graham appreciates all the foreign aid that the UK is receiving also in, uh, in light of the current pandemic. The NHS heroes, in the UK, currently not having enough PPE from their government, but mashallah to Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, who donated 60, 60,000, was it 60 tons of, of PPE aid? PPE aid, Billy the Gensh Graham was a there was also a large shipment from Turkey to the UK, so thank you uh, to Turkey for helping out the UK. The UK loves a, loves a, loves a handout. Billy the Gensh Graham, handout king. Billy the Gensh Graham just swinging around, showing off. So hello to Abdul Sata, who had uh, who had some some uh, who's doing some enhancement work to his to his beautiful home. We know that Abdul Sata is only watching tonight; he is not participating. But Sata, we are glad you are join, joining us to watch Billy receive a handout from Anthony Monks during tonight's workout. Dua, your legs are in agony. Yes, my glutes feel yesterday's workout. From all the lunges. Hello, Jasna, welcome. Donna Sweeney, hello. We're having a great, uh, a great conversation today with Billy. Just saying thank you to everyone that's helping support the UK in, in the current pandemic. I'm sure, I'm sure everyone from UK appreciates the, uh, the support. Also, if you're not aware, the UAE is leading the world in testing. 
Test and trace. Test and contain. Proactive. There is light starting to emerge at the end of the tunnel now. There are signs of businesses reopening and the new normal pushing forward. Vicky Croft says her glutes are rock hard. There was 180 lunges yesterday, dynamic jumping lunges. It was very tough. Add in those squat cleans, it became very difficult. Today is a bit of an all out workout. We've got a, uh, a couple of Tabatas to kick start. You will need a kettlebell, your wall ball, and a rower if you have one. We'll be crossing live to the Wad House very soon. Coached by none other than Jamie Greenwood. And then going head to head is Anthony the Mad Monks versus Billy the Gench Graham. And we're crossing very soon. Wongo, if you're out there, Wongo. Say hello, Wongo. Syrian Fadio is in. Hello, Syrian Fadio. Great, great that you've joined us. And we're crossing very soon. In 10 seconds, we're going live. Get ready for it. Billy's going to do a workout and not be able to walk for the next week. In three, go. Good evening, guys. Welcome to your Tuesday workout. Okay, so I hope you're not feeling too sore after all yesterday's jumping lunges and squats. I know my legs are feeling it a little bit. Um, tonight, we're going to do a bit more pulling. Uh, there is going to be a few squats in there, but we'll get you warm and that'll be no problem. So what you're going to need tonight is your kettlebell, your medicine ball, and a, your rower if you have a rower. If you don't have a rower, no problem. We don't need equipment for the alternative. Okay, so what we're going to start off with is just find a bit of space on the floor. We're going to go 10 shoulder pushbacks, okay? So if you just watch, and the usual, come down, stay in your push-up position, push back, come forward. At the same time, guys, try stretch out your calves. Um, so pause at the back, feel that stretch, come forward again. Let's go for 10 of them. Hello to Ali, uh, Ali Al-Hamami, to Khalid Al-Shamsi is in the house, Clytham okay. Al-Kabi. And uh, Anna Castro wants to know, how are my legs feeling today after yesterday's workout? Absolutely perfect. 100%. Means you didn't go hard enough. No, just regular consistent exercise involving the legs. There was 200 squats in uh, the weekend Zoom Warrior Wad, Anna. So uh, my legs were well, uh, were well versed in the volume. Cool, then you're going to lie flat on your stomach, guys. Palms out. We're going to go 10 crossovers. So bring your foot up over to your hand, back to the middle. So this should be a stretch through your chest after all those push-ups, but also through your spine. Guys, go for 10 of them. So an inside scoop. Uh, we will be publishing our reopening guidelines that Vogue Fitness will be implementing, which will be the best practice in the UAE for fitness Ooh. facility reopenings. And they'll be launched on our website probably tomorrow. Cool, and then flip over to your back. We're going to do the same thing. Greenwood is boring, isn't it? <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, Billy the Gench Graham has strictly been following the isolation because he's not seen a single UV ray since this whole pandemic started. <laughs> if anyone would like to give a hand out to Billy, he's, uh, he's on board with the whole UK getting handouts, so... Please feel free. Some say he's from England. Some say he's straight out of uh, Jerusalem. Go and then come back to your pushbacks, guys. Let's go 10 more pushbacks. This time you're going to reach for your opposite toe. Yeah, it's the same thing, but go for that single arm reach. Again, pause if you feel like it. Jack Oldham says that mustache is something else. Jack, I'll tell you what's something else. That absolutely ridiculous trim you got that one time and posted it over uh, all over the gram. That w that was ridiculous. That was something else. Yeah, yeah, you look like a toilet brush. Okay, guys, we're going to come to your push-up position and we're going to go ten plank to push-up. 
So we look at Ant here, he's in his push-up, he's going to come down to his elbows, straight back up to his hands. Just take this one slow, guys, and try to keep your hands under your shoulder. Okay, don't let it sprawl out in front. Let's go for 10 of them. If you need to come to your knees, come to your knees. Interesting isolation fact. I think this is Billy's fourth live workout, which equals the total number of workouts he's done combined in the last four years. Wait, what, can you just remind him that I'm a company man? He's a company man, apparently. <laughs> okay, guys, then what we're going to do is, if you have your rower, I want you to get on your rower and you're going to row for 60 seconds at a steady pace, okay? So we're going to build into it. If you do not have a rower, what we're going to start off with is just five kickback burpees. So Anne's going to show you that. So your kickback burpee, stand up. You're going to go just for five of them and then five squats. Okay, you're gonna keep doing that till Billy's finished his row. Jack Oldham says uh, that I'm just envious that, uh, that he's not 40 years old. Jack, I'll tell you what, aging's not optional, but that haircut you got was. Is he doing the workout? What's he doing? Yeah, why is Jack even here? Jack, go home. <laughs> everyone, says, everyone says, why are you here, Jack? Awaken Bear is in the house. Of course. Hello, Awaken Bear. Yeah. Shim is fantastic. Girls, just keep going. Five kickback burpees, five squats. If you don't have that roller, we're 20 seconds away. Just steady pace, guys. Vogue, have... fi Vogue Fitness. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Continue. Uh, if you're feeling good in the roller, pick up that pace a little bit. Ooh, that's a short 60 seconds, Billy Graham. Oh, cheating the warm up. Cheating the warm up. <laughs> We're here to keep an eye out. Okay, right guys, come on over to your kettlebell. We're gonna go 10 kettlebell deadlifts. So, you want the handle of that kettlebell in between your feet. You're gonna lean over with a slight bend in your knees. Arms stay straight, back straight, stand up. Squeeze your butt at the top, tap the ground. Okay, let's go for 10 of them. Hello to Abati is in the house. Hessa Al Zabi, she saw after yesterday and is can't wait for the war balls. <laughs> hello Azza Al Ganaimi and Reem. Hello, hello. As we see those those noodle limbs of Billy yeah. the Gensh Graham at work. Cool. Then come down to a lunge, guys. We're just going to stretch out your hips a little bit. Cool. So what we're going to do is both hands on your knee, you're going to lean forward into a lunge, then you're going to hold for a couple of seconds, come back, toe to the ceiling, slight knee, uh, bend in your knee, touch the floor, lean forward. Okay, come back up, lean again, come back. Okay, Fighter 20009 is in the house. Five each leg, okay? Fighter, if you do not beat Billy Graham tonight, then we are not talking ever again. <laughs> you can beat him post ifta, pre ifta, anytime, fighter. No problemo. Switch legs, guys. Once you've done five, then we do five again. Fighter is renowned for going full power. Fighter has. Is, has shown on many occasions that he is, he is a warrior. He has full heart and commitment to the workout. Fighter, if you do not beat Billy, it will be very shameful. You get that shoe right. Okay, come up to your feet, guys. Okay, we're just going to go for our regular squats. Let's go five squats. So if you just watch Ed, come down slow, stand up normally, five times. On the screen we have the apex of fitness in the world and Billy Graham. Okay, then we're going to go for five deck squats. I know some of you have rowers, we're all going to do them though. Okay, so with that deck squat, remember we did it the other week, you're going to roll back. You can either roll your feet up or keep them on the floor, throw those arms forward, come up and do a squat. If you struggle, cross your feet or use your hand to help you up. Oh, there you go. 
Billy Graham with the tickers. Oh, there we yeah, go. Good tickers. I won't stand too close. Noodle Five limbs going start. everywhere. Noodle limbs left, right, and center on Billy the Gents Graham there. <laughs> Small limbs, big belly Graham. Cool, and then last of all, guys, come to your kettlebell, and we're going to go five rushing kettlebell swings. So, same like you did, lift back straight, bring it between your legs, bring it up to eye height. Ten reps. Sam Cornforth is in the house. He has um, finished with his partner, and he's going solo, like Fraser Knox would be doing. Awesome. Okay, grab a quick breather. Guys, have a rest. So the workout today, if you just look here to my side, we've got two parts. Our first part is Tabata. Okay, so we're going to do the first four minutes with two movements, so alternating. And then the second Tabata is just with plank. Okay, so you're going to do 20 seconds of kettlebell swings, 10 seconds rest, 20 seconds of Russian alternating, um, kettlebell swings, so I'll go over that. 10 seconds rest for four minutes, then we rest one minute, and then we do the same with planks. So 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest for four minutes. Okay? The second part is for time. You've got a 14 minute time cap. Okay? For males, 800 meters for females. If you do not have a rower, you will be doing a deck squat plus a burpee, 40 of them. Okay? I will go over that shortly. Um, then you are going to do 60 wall balls. Okay, if you do not have a wall, 60 medicine ball thrusters, um, 500 meter row or 400, deck squat burpee, and then 40 wall balls. Okay, um, with the remaining time, you're going to do as many calories on the rower as you can, or as many deck squats and burpees as you can. I know, pick the great person for deck squats. <laughs> okay, so for our Tabata guys, our first movement is our full kettlebell swing. So if you just take a look at our ant here, just like our Russian swing, but you're going to bring it all the way above your head. So at the top, his head is going to come between his arms, and the base of the kettlebell is facing the ceiling. So I want everyone to try five reps for me now. With this one, guys, keep your chest up, and keep that kettlebell above your knees. Great shirt length on, uh, on the Gensch man. So you're going to go 20-second kettlebell swing. The second one is Russian alternating kettlebell swings. So we're going to go single arm. You're only going to come to eye height. You're going to swing it up to eye height, switch hands, oh. and go to the other one. It's a beautiful. Okay, yeah, be careful of that floor. So everyone, let's try six of them. So it's even. And Nadja Almazuki, uh, no issues at all if you don't have a war ball. Jamie Green will get to that when she goes over the workout. So don't stress. Cool. We've got you covered. So they're the first two movements, guys. If you don't have a kettlebell, again, we can always use a dumbbell. So you're just going to hold the end of your dumbbell for both those movements. For the swing, depending how big your dumbbell is, if you want to do double hand, you can do double hand. So full will be like, full will be all the way up. And then if you want to switch, just same thing. You're just going to have to work on your grip a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh. There you go. Yeah, do a few flips there. Okay, once we've done that, we're going to go to our plank. So Anne's just going to show you a plank. Yeah. We're going to go on our, our elbows today, shoulders over your elbows. You can see here's in almost a rounded position. Okay, what we don't want is like an arch where your hips are sagging, and we don't want your butt up in the air like a mountain. Okay, so we want flat position. What I try to tell people is make sure you bring your shoulders towards your hips. Find that hollow position like we did with our hollow rocks. That way you're going to actually work your abs. Okay, so everyone come down and try 10 seconds worth. Cool. Alex Sakran is in the house, getting ready to find the most creative way to cheat on today's workout and submit a time that is completely made up. Cool, relax there, guys. So again, 20 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, four minutes. Cool, so that's the first part. The second part... We all know the row, okay? If you do not have a rower, you have deck squat burpee. So, Ant is going to show you this. So, you're going to do 40 of them for the first part. So, you're going to do one deck squat. You stand up, you do one burpee, you oh, stand wow. up. Oh, wow. Okay? Wow, what a combo. So, both movements, make sure you stand up between them. We don't want to see you do a deck squat 
and roll straight into a burpee. That's not right, okay? So here, and then flip over. It's like crawling around. Okay, so make sure you stand up from your deck squat, then you lie down again. You'll be doing 40 of those. Now, is there, is there any, uh, any scales for that if someone is unable to do a deck squat? If you can't do a deck squat, you're gonna use your hands to get up from the deck squat, okay? The other option is you can grab something in your house, so like we showed with the pole before, you do the deck squat, pull yourself up, and then you can do a kickback burpee. But otherwise, it is fine if you lie back. Yeah, you can do that. Or you can just lie back and use your hands to get up. Okay? Um, if you have a rower, row, <laughs> basically. Okay, so 1K here or 800 meters for females. Here you're going to do 40 deck squat plus the burpee. So both movements is one. Oof. Cool. And uh, some of the ladies will be happy that there is a male and female row distance tonight. There you go. Happy days. Okay, then we've got 60 wall balls or medicine ball thruster. So our wall ball, we're over here. If you do not have a wall, you'll be doing the thruster. Same thing. You've got your elbows up in front. You're going to squat down, throw the ball up towards the wall, catch, throw again. Okay, and if you're doing the thruster, you just lock it out, bring it back down. Okay, with this one, guys, remember, always hit depth in that squat. If you need to rest, break them up. Okay, so you're going to do 60 of those, wall balls or thrusters. If you do not have a wall ball for this one, but you do have a kettlebell, you can always use your kettlebell. If you don't want to put it above your head, you can just hold it in front, or you can just go air squats. Okay, but if you do have some sort of weight, just hold it in front of you, thruster it. Confidence is remarkably high tonight. For what? Let's work out. He's, he's ready to go. Okay, then you have a 500 meter row. 400 for females. 20 deck squat burpees, okay? So it goes 40, then 20. Then you have 40 wall balls or 40 thrusters. Okay, you have 14 minutes to finish that. If you finish before 14 minutes, you're going to get back on the rower as many meters as you can. If you finish and you don't have a rower, as many deck squat burpees as you can. Okay? If you have any questions, put them through now. But we're going to get going on that first part and then we'll get going in the second. Now we just need to check uh, that uh, Billy has at least a 14 pound war ball. I think he might have subbed it out for a 10. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get that checked out later on. We'll check later. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're starting with Tabata. 20 seconds of full kettlebell swings, okay? That's all you need to worry about right now. So our first Tabata, remember, work 20 seconds, 10 seconds rest, eight rounds of that is four minutes. First set of Tabata. Full American kettlebell swings alternate with the single arm alternating swings. Okay, guys, let's do it. Remember Ten to hold that, kettle, hold that kettlebell tight. You don't want so it flying through the TV. 20 seconds of work. Listen to me for when to start and stop. Two, one, full swings. Let's go. Great shirt length on Billy there. Three, two, one, rest. So now we rest, guys. Now we're going to the single arm Russian. Alternating. And go. Sam, if you can do it unbroken in the Tabata, you should do it unbroken. So try to be as consistent as you can here, guys. Free falling. And rest. So we're working on your accuracy here as well, guys. Don't drop it on your toes. So we're back to our full swing. <laughs> Go! I thought we had someone falling already. <laughs> Timber! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Three, two, one, rest. Lay down. Go. So try keep that number as consistent as you can, guys. Keep your eye on that kettlebell. The elasticity of the Gensh Graham is remarkable. Remarkably bad. Three, two, one, rest. Halfway, guys. And go. Good techers, uh, good techers from the crew. Billy against Graham, unable to keep a straight arm. Rest. One minute left, guys. One time on each movement. Go. Last bit of work, guys, and you get a whole minute rest. And go. Keep an eye on that kettlebell. Good, so hopefully that got you going, started you off. So now guys, you can put your kettlebell to the side. You do not need that for the next wee while. We're gonna go into a plank. You're gonna hold the plank for 20 seconds and you can rest for the 10. If you want a real challenge, don't come down the rest. <laughs> Oof. Oh. Oh wow. There you I'm go. Looking. If you want if you, to. If you want a real challenge, Jay Greenwood, just throw it down. No, you can do you do the four, four minutes, minutes unbroken? You can't do it. They said you can't. They said it was like Tuxedo Tuesday. They said it couldn't be done and Billy proved that it couldn't be done. <laughs> but can Anthony Monks prove that a four minute plank oh, can Billy. be done? No, Billy. I'll go, I'll go for it. Billy the Gensh Graham will be lucky it. to get through the first 20 seconds of the Tabata. Yeah, if you want to mix it up that way, yeah, you could go knees to feet, knees to feet, if you want to challenge it. Yeah. I'll join you. Yeah. 10 seconds. Yeah, so if you want to rest on your knees, but keep your plank position, go for it. Ah. So I'll tell you when to stop and start. If you don't want to stop, hang in there. If you are going for a max plank, Try lift your hips up a bit, Billy. Let us know in the comments yeah. in the next lift break how long you held it for. If you reach Rest. one minute, Billy's Rest already there, guys. Billy's so going if you to come to your knees or if you want to keep holding. So Billy is Three, going to barter. Two, one, go. Billy going to barter and Anthony Monk's going unbroken. So both options are on the table here. Billy not lasting the Three, first Tabata. Two, oh no. Rest. Billy not lasting the first minute of the Tabata. Three, two, and go. Billy's noodle limbs having to support that weight. Now these are looking good. Just keep breathing, guys. Try focus on something else. And 
Sam rests there. Anthony Monk still unbroken. He's still unbroken. Awaken Bear believes. And go. That's right, Awaken Bear. I also believe. Awesome work, guys. We're coming up to halfway. Keep hanging in there. Keep breathing. Anthony Monks already has the shakes, though. Three, two, and rest. Halfway, guys. It might be hard Throwing to see. Go your head now. It's just a play. And go. That's two minutes done, guys. Halfway. All those noodle limbs of Billy the Gensh Graham keeping him afloat. left guys and today is still going and go three lots of uh, 20 seconds left if you're going to barter hand monks bearing up the plank position to straight arm plank hold and a jazz club here and rest Final minute coming up, guys. Last two sections of work. Three, two, one, go. There's some dance moves as well in the jazz club. And Anthony Monk's going, going into his final 45 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Awake and bear, do you still believe? Last one coming up. Do you believe in Anthony Monks going unbroken? And go! Last 20 seconds, guys. See if everyone can hang on for this last 30. Let's go. Stay in there with Anthony. Yes, believe, achieve, exceed. Billy's basically on the ground, but lift, lift, lift. Come on guys, last bell. What do you hang on for this last 10 seconds? You got 10 seconds left. Hang on, hang on. Awaken Bear believes. Three, two, one, and four minutes done. He did. Anthony Monks unbroken. Guys, at home, guys and girls, if you if you had an unbroken attempt, let us know how you got on with that. Drop yes. it in the comments. Let us know how that plank went. But anyway, catch your breath, chill out for a moment or two. I'm just going to go over the workout one more time and then we can get going on the workout. So guys, remember, any questions, drop them in the comments. Let us know how you went on the, on the Tabata and on the plank and the swings. We went, uh, Juma al Kabi went unbroken. Ufa. Oof. Oh, Khalid Al Shamsi. Of course he did. Oh. He, he yes, he has got, a very, very he strong a very core. Good core. He does a lot of work on his core. And Khalid, you, you were given the challenge and, and you, you were and you, you, you absolutely still, knocked it out. He's probably still going. He's still going to Wisconsin. Jasna unbroken as well. Ufa. Well done. Well done. Working that core. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna quickly go over the workout. For time, 1K row or 800 meter row. Four to, if you don't have a rower, 40 deck squats plus burpee. So one for one is one rep. Then you have 60 wall balls. Then you have a 500 meter row or a 400 meter row for ladies or 20 deck squat burpees. Then you have 40 wall balls. When you finish that, get on your rower as many meters as you can or get back to your deck squat and burpees as many of those of those as you can okay you have 14 minutes so you should be at the ready either on your rower for your 1k or 800 or ready with your deck squats and your burpee okay remember your scale use your hands to get up and if you need to on the burpee do a kickback burpee instead of a regular burpee okay yeah yeah so it goes 40 60 40, 20. So Sam Cornforth, uh, um, Fraser Knox's partner, 
He wanted to know if he should have went ham in the in the Tabata, but this is where you go all out. This is now your maximum it's effort. It's a ham sandwich. It's a ham yeah, sandwich. It's a ham sandwich. Hopefully you've got um, everything ready to go. This is where you go as hard as you can. Is Fraser Knox coming in here? Okay. Fraser Knox is not participating tonight. 1K row, 40 dick squat burpee. He'll be around though. So get ready guys, 10, 10 seconds. seconds. Yeah, it could be a bottle, it could be a bottle Fraser will be lying in his bed with his bloody table. His Three, table. Two, two, one, go. And off we go. And we're away. And we are off. So watching it, stand up, burpee, and that is one. Hopefully you have space for this. Billy is off to a roaring start. 149 pace, super. Don't get dizzy in these deck squats, guys. Find a pace you can hold on to. In that row, make sure you are still pushing it. We're here to work hard, not float along. So, uh, Jamie Green, what, what pace is um, Billy holding on the roller there? We're at a one. A low 150 here. 150. 1,050? 150. 150. Well, 150. 150 pace. 150 per, per, two, per 500 so meter he's time. Getting it just under so about a 341 k. So there we go. So for Good the guys pace. and girls, try and finish the row under four Good minutes. Pace. He looks comfortable though. Billy Graham is looking comfortable on the rower. You're wondering. Those noodle limbs are really uh, doing it for him. He went healthy on lunch today. He had a poke bowl. Opted for a change up of his regular KFC. He had what? Changed up the KFC diet today. And had went, what? Went for the poke bowl. Health. Health in a nutshell. How many are you on that? 18. So we're about even here. Oh, it's just under halfway. Billy's just over. Anthony Monks is the deck squat master. Billy flying on the roll because he ate a salad today. Billy's doing well, it must be the new pokey diet. Yeah, it gave up his regular Burger King. Awesome work guys, just keep that steady pace. Just coming up to three minutes here. So you should be you should you should be getting close to uh, finishing the first part. Anthony looks to be about thirty something in. Billy's coming up to his last few pulls. Make sure we get it over. Beauty, 1,000 meters. He is onto his wall balls. M. Bison, M. Bison is back. And we only have a few left, I'm sure. Oh, look how high that ball went. It must be a very, very light ball because that almost hit the ceiling. Billy's a few reps into his wall balls. Ant is coming up to his last six. Absolutely dreadful technique. 
few more to a burpee dick squats. Dreadful technique by M. Bison in the back there. Noodle limbs going everywhere. Awesome work. Right, so ends on to his wall balls or thrusters, whatever he's doing. Wall balls. So Anthony Monk's now onto the wall balls. Billy Graham's breaking it up. Will Ant keep it up broken? We will soon see. Billy Graham might have done 59, we don't know. Remember on those wall balls, guys, get the depth. The squat is the important part. You don't want to be working out and wasting your time with these ones. Try to get that squat right down, even if it takes a little bit longer. Lovely, what we at, Billy Graham? Billy has got 10 left. Well, we can see the front of uh, Billy Noodle, Noodle Limbs med ball there, and it's six pounds. Six pound war ball. I'm in there. And has 20 left. So it's close between the two of them. Oh, the big man's face with a six pounder. <laughs> and Bison, he's thrown, that, he's thrown that six pound ball up and down 60 times. Now those noodle limbs are on that roller. See if you can keep pace at home with noodle limb Bison. Billy's pace has slowed a little, but that's okay. Done the grunt of the work. Keep steady pace here, guys. You'll see a lot of ants in the wall ball. Lucky ants is back to a six squat. Awake and bear, yes, today is team jab. Now it is 20 dick squats and burpees, guys. Jab being Jamie, Anthony, and Billy. To jump there, Ant. Maybe just stand up and go back. Awaken Bear, good acronym, yeah. Tim Jab. Yeah. Speed and power in the jab. And oh yes, B for Bison and Billy. So guys, we're coming up to eight minutes. We are over halfway in the time cap. This is where you want to hang in there. Save a little bit of energy for that big push at the end. Billy has 200 meters left. Ant's legs are probably dying a little bit just with the squats and the deck squats. But he is okay, he will push through. So keep it up at home, you're well over halfway now. Dig in, make it hurt a little. Feel that burn. Like noodle limb bison over here on the roller. Awesome. Billy only has about five more pulls and he's back to his last wall ball. And how many uh how many is Anthony Monks on? Twelve. Twelve. Anthony is on twelve. And noodle limbs? It's finished. He's just finished. So he's off to his 40 wall balls. 4-0. Four zero. Four zero. And there's about five left. Do it like Shown. So if you do finish the first part of the workout, if you finish the first part of the workout, make sure you look at the clock. So when you finish, you can drop your time in the comments to let us know. 
And then you're going to go into your max reps or meters. Jamie Green, is it max cal or max meters? Meters. We'll max max meters. meters. Yes, max meters when you finish. Because then it's the same as what it's already been set to. Yes. So when you finish, it's max meter row. Max meter row or max dick squat burpee. And it's on to his last 40 wall balls. How many are you at, Billy? I'm guessing maybe 20. Can they go unbroken? <laughs> We've got less than four minutes left of the cap, guys. Take note at the time you finish. And then as well, your max meters or your max reps. So who's going to win the race? Anthony Monks going unbroken. Can Anthony come from behind and finish off Noodle Limb Bison? It's a close call here. It's a one for one. Billy is done. 10.49. And Noodle Limb is done. On that rower, Billy. And Anthony Monks, three seconds behind. No, he's got a few more. So guys, remember, if Go you finish... Go finish it off, and then rest. Come on, Billy, get those feet in, even if you start a slow pace. If you finish the first part of the workout... squats to go back to. Remember what time, so you can drop it in the comments when you finish. Shosha, 10 minutes 22. Mashallah. Now get into that max effort, Shosha. Three and a half minutes left, two and a half minutes left. Anthony is done. Anthony Monks, 11.36. Now into his max effort. Okay, guys, now we have our max rep. If you're still going on the workout, keep pushing to get that workout finished. If you started your max reps, guys, head down and work. You've got two minutes. Two minutes to get as many done as you can. Jasna, 11.20, well done. Nada Al Habi, 11.30. Awesome work from the ladies. If you your scores in now, you should be doing your max rep. Yes, straight into max we reps. We don't care about your time yet. But I do. <laughs> no, no, no. After, after. Feel free to comment after. Yes, you should be working but at a pace if, like this. If you're catching your breath and dropping it in. 90 seconds, guys. I won't tell Jamie. This is where you can either pussy out or work a little bit harder. Do you want to noodle, me noodle limb bison slowing down to a crawl. Are you can have both. <laughs> max meters or max rep? I think, I think Billy's roll is going to start counting down instead of up. He's, he's dropped the pace so much. Okay, guys, we're coming up to the last minute. I want to see a big push here. Big effort now. Final Four, minute. 14 minutes of your long day. Let's go. Bring it on home. CrossFit Kelly put in that work. You can lie on the floor for 14 minutes straight afterwards and see how quick that goes. Awaken Bear says, go for the closing knockout team, Jab. Finish strong on the max reps. Donna Sweeney, 13 seconds. Now you've got to go hit down. 13.04 from Donna Sweeney. Well done. Let's see if you can hit some. Go. See if you can hit some more reps now. And that's great form, Donna, to get that done. This is a tough workout. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 15 seconds. Last 10, let's go, let's go. Come on, Ant. one more, one more, let's go. Three, two, time. Well done at home. The workout has ended. Noodle Limb Graham. And how, how many meters was that for M. Bison? 584. 584 meters. And? 
And Anthony Monks with 17 deck squat burpees. What an effort. What an outstanding effort. Yeah. Drop it in the comments, guys. Let us know when you give us your time if it was um, deck squat or row. Jasna, five, five, five meter rower. Yeah, very close. Very close to Noodle Limb Graham there, Jasna. Naja Al Mizuki with a glass of ice water. It's coming soon for those that are fasting. It's coming, coming soon. Close. Almost there. Sam Cornforth. 10, 10, and 1,100 meters, making light work of Noodle Lim Graham. Wow, was that? Very good. That's amazing. Clytham Al Kabi, well done. How far did you get into the workout? Salam Al uh, Salam Farak, 485 meters. Great work. Nada Al Habi, 425. It's brutal having that time to push on a rower, yeah. isn't it, guys? Shosha, 691 Shosha. meters. Woof. Danger. Danger. Nasa Al Zabi, 12, 16 plus 10 deck squat nice. burpees. Syrian Fadio, 1330 plus 200 meters. Well done. That's a good sprint at the end there. Dua, 12 minutes and five plus 407 meters. Nice. Orsula, 1019 and 785 meters. Absolutely wow, smashed it out the park there, yeah. Orsula. Carl okay. Al Shamsi, 13 you minutes 45. Equipment a wipe, guys. And 317 meters. Give your equipment a wipe and we can move that to the side and then we'll give your legs a stretch. Kelly Stokel. Those who did yesterday as well, you're probably feeling a little bit tired in the legs from the squats, from the rowing. <laughs> but tomorrow, no problem. You'll be fresh and ready to go. Kelly Stokel, 763 meters. Nice. CrossFit Kelly. Kelly. We've got Reem A, 12 Kelly. minutes 20 and 310 on the rower. Fantastic. Nadja Al Mazuki, done plus 14 deck squat burpees. Lovely. Wow. Well done. And Anna Castro, 13 minutes 40, getting it under the time cap there. I know well done with yeah. three deck squat burpees. Good awesome finish. work. Awesome work. And Carla, sorry, he finished his row in 12, uh, 12.45. He finished the workout and then moved into his 317-meter 300 row. Linda Bailey, she jumped in late and missed the briefing and was doing 800, 400, time capped at 37 war balls. Oof, only four, three war balls short, Linda. Great work. Hi, can I, uh, Jamie, can you just pass a message to the studio for me? Okay. I was, in, uh, I was incredibly inspired by the, uh, the wise and, and motivating words of Awakened Bear. So thank you. Did everyone, did you hear that, Awakened Bear? Billy Graham was very inspired and motivated by your words this evening. For those that have ever been to Asia and seen those glass noodles, those like see-through really skinny noodles, it looks like Billy's arms and legs right now, actually. Okay, guys, come down to the floor. Let's go into the pigeon stretch. Pre-standard one. And so the pigeon in the You do not need to keep your leg up in front. Let it slip back. Okay, and I want you to lie over that front leg. So it's fine if it comes back towards your hip. Okay, it won't be so much through your glute. They're still going to stretch out the back of your leg. So th there was some outstanding efforts at home, guys. Absolutely awesome. Great to see you smashing the workout still. Cool. Take like five or six big breaths here, guys. So reach your arms out in front. Billy's out of it already. We're over the hump this week. We hump are. day. Hump day Tuesday. For those in the UK, I think that will be, tomorrow will be your hump day. But in the Middle East, hump day is Tuesday. It is. Switch legs, it's a great thing. Awaken Bear says, thank you, Bison. You and all of Team Jab are inspiring. The, you're inspiring the audience by being on camera. Beauty. Thank you, Awaken Bear. Juma Al Kabi, those deck squat plus burpees are a complicated move. They are. We want to keep your brain working. Yes. We don't want you coming back into yes and then losing your mind. Uh, Angel oh from Al Gadir. He finished at 5.15. Well done for, for keeping going to get that workout done, Angel. Well done. And Awaken Bear says the demoing is necessary to get viewers going. Yes. Get you pumped up. Get you ready. Get you ready to smash it. Okay, guys, then just lie flat on your stomach. Okay. Carl Al Shamsi really wants to know Awaken Bear. 
And then you go, you're going to bring your foot up behind you. Okay, grab your foot and just have your uh, other hand on your chin. Awaken Bear is a YouTube mystery. Like so. S squeeze your butt and you should feel it in the front of your leg, guys. A YouTube favorite. A mystery. It's a great name. If you woke up in a room when you're moving house, you would awaken the bear. <laughs> the digital team did a fantastic job on today's broadcast. Yeah. I think Which mainly there's technical guys. issues when M. Bison is in the studio. Making that internet feel nervous. <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 what is it? Getting that internet on edge whenever, whenever BG is in the studio. It's the aura. It's the aura that's in there. <laughs> cool, then come back and give your calves a stretch, guys. Sit down with dog. Walk your feet back and forward like a dog. No, no, no. no so those... On your feet. Those that are fasting and doing this workout, that's a, yeah. an outstanding effort. Also, if you're doing this post iftar, that's great to, to be keeping active this yeah. Ramadan. Any time is a good time. If it suits you, it's perfect. Ramadan is a favorite time at Yash. Usually when it's yeah. non-pandemic, we're open till about time. one or two in the morning going absolutely crazy. It's, it's a very fun time of year. We're, time we're, 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 time. we're glad we can still be involved with you this Ramadan. Yeah. And next year, inshallah, when, when we are back to the new normal, we have a very fun Ramadan. And just give your arms a crossover, guys, if you're on your knees or on your feet, whatever. It's a nice one. I feel like you've done something. And for our international viewers, during the daylight hours of Ramadan, our fasting members do not eat or drink uh, until the sun goes down. Very so impressive. for them doing this workout is, is it adds an extra layer of difficulty. Motivating. It's and very so, motivating. So fit when they can come back and do their regular routine. Okay, awesome work guys. We will see you here tomorrow. Same place, same time. Have a good evening. Masalama from Vogue Fitness.